Hey guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again with another Blu-ray 4K DVD collection update video for the month of March 2020. Can you believe it's already March? This year's going pretty quickly so far. In fact, as I'm uploading this, filming and uploading this, it's uh, it's nearly April in a couple of days time, which is, uh, it's insane. Now I do want to get into doing these more regularly. I want these to be a more regular staple of the channel once again, just like they were when I first started. Like the first couple of years of this channel where I was doing these all the time, I kind of slowed down o over time, but I want to get back to doing these like once a month, once every couple of months, depending on what kind of stuff is coming in and what I've got to show off out there. This month I have got a, a bunch of uh, Blu-rays and DVDs there uh, for uh, some stuff that's been sent in from some distributors as well as um, a bunch of stuff that I've picked up from JB Hi-Fi in the last few sales. There's some television stuff there as well, so there's quite a bit to get into, so let's get into it. Alright, first off, let's take a look at a little part that I actually received in the mail this afternoon. This has come uh, from my new friends over at Via Vision Entertainment. For my uh, international subscribers, Via Vision Entertainment are a really fantastic boutique label here in Australia. They're actually a subdivision or a, a sub-label, I guess, of Madman Entertainment, who you may have heard of. Again, a, a fantastic boutique label. Together they release a bunch of catalogue titles, so both Blu-ray and DVD, a bunch of stuff that they've uh, licensed out from major studios major distributors that otherwise just wouldn't have had a Blu-ray or in some cases DVD release uh, any other way. Uh, so I, love, I really love boutique labels. They are like the best way and really the only way these days to get uh, a lot of these uh, catalogue titles on the Blu-ray format. But they also do a really great job at re-releasing stuff um, that has been out of print for many years. So as you'll see here, uh, there's a couple of titles here that were released by the studios, by the main distributors early, kind of in the early days of Blu-ray and then went out of print and they do their part in bringing those titles back out into distribution as well. So let's take a look at what they have sent over. I'm very excited about uh, about this handful um, and this should be a, a ongoing partnership between myself and Biovision which I'm really really looking forward to. They've got some great stuff coming in April which will be in the, uh, the next update video as well. First off let's take a look at this one which I'm really really excited about. It is Police Squad The Complete Series. This is a uh, I guess a limited series from the 1980s, early 19, 1982, I believe, uh, comedy series. Um, you may have heard of it, you may not have heard of it, and even if you haven't heard of it, I'm pretty sure you would have heard of the film series that, I guess, spun off from this television series right here. It was, of course, the Naked Gun series right there. Um, I'm a big fan of the Naked Gun movies, but I never actually watched the series that was the precursor to it. Um, this did come out on DVD, I believe, kind of around the same time as the Blu-rays of the films, and I just never picked it up because I thought one day, one day that'll be out on Blu-ray, I'm gonna wait. I've been waiting nearly 10 years and it's finally here in my hot little hands. Uh, so I've never actually watched the series, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. Um, it's six episodes long. It's of course a little like a little sitcom thing, and um, I guess what you can expect from this is what you get from the movies. Just silly little, I guess, or almost little sketch gag kind of comedy things within a uh, within a within a narrative context. Um, but. Uh, Really, if this, is any, if this is anywhere near as good as the movies, which I've heard it is, I'm dying to get into that. So Police Squad, finally available on Blu-ray. Uh, this is, I think, a, think it's a very first time release here in Australia. There is a release coming in America and I think the UK over the, the coming month, I believe. Uh, but it's been released here in Australia first, which is awesome. And to pair with that one, next up we have got Top Secret, which I am also very, very excited about. This is from the creators of Police Squad, Naked Gun, Flying High, or as it's called over in America, Airplane. Um, and I'm a big fan of all those movies, so I'm really excited to check this one out. Naked Gun was like a spoof on uh, the classic cop television series and movies. Uh, Flying High or Airplane was uh, like a spoof on disaster movies. This one's a spoof on war films. So they're all kind of, I guess, uh, what, what, what you could call spiritual sequels to one another. Same creative team, same directors, all that kind of stuff. This one's got Val Kilmer in it. Again, haven't seen it, but I'm really looking forward to checking it out. It's going to be some really great laughs, I can imagine, in the same vein as Naked Gun. I'm flying high. Uh, super excited to check that one out. So that one is uh, also out right now from Vivision. And again, another one I'm just so excited to check out is The Big Chill. 
Uh, Viavision has released quite a number of really, really good movies uh, on, on Blu-ray this month, and uh, this is one that I've been wanting to see for years and years and years. I guess it's kind of a comedy, drama, dramedy kind of movie. It's got a huge cast. Tom Berenger, Glenn Close, Jeff Goldblum, William Hurt, Kevin Kline, um, and a bunch of others there as well. And uh, I've heard that this movie is fantastic. Usually I would uh, try and watch these movies before I put together a video, but we've kind of, we had a little bit of a, a courier issue where the, the, the parcel that had all this stuff in it went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for about two or three weeks. Unfortunately, no one's, no one's, uh, no one to blame. It's just one of those things that happens. Um, I was planning to watch them all and, and kind of do little little reviews of them, but um, I just kind of want to get this video out there since they're all um, available to purchase right now. So I will be checking out The Big Chill probably this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple of days' time. Um, and uh, if you want to follow me over on Letterboxd, I, I'm watching a movie almost every single day at the moment because I've got so many movies I just need to get through. And uh, if you want to see like my little reviews on films, you can uh, check them out on there every morning. I, I watch a movie and then I will upload my review to that. Some evenings I watch a movie, upload my review to that. So big chill, very, very excited to check that one out. And finally here from Viavision are two uh, brand new re-releases of titles that were released early on in uh, in the Blu-ray format. We've got In the Name of the Father starring Daniel J. Lewis, Emma Thompson and Pete Postlewaite and In the Line of Fire. Both really great movies. This film is absolutely fantastic. Um, Daniel, one of Daniel Day-Lewis's best performances ever, if not his best performance. Really, really great. And In the Line of the Fire is just an, another, just one of those great 1990s Clint Eastwood kind of action, kind of uh, thriller movies. Really love both of these. Now these, as I said, have been previously released. I did have uh, the original two releases of those there. Um, if you do have these two here, uh, these are the early releases of them. I believe, uh, from what I've been told, they are exactly the same. The ports are the same, uh, same special features. The transfer should be exactly the same. So if you do have them, probably don't need to pick them up again. But for those who never got around to picking up, again, the, uh, the original releases of those, these are finally out to get again. And I would recommend them very, very highly. Both really, really great movies. So as I said, Viavision bringing to the table some great stuff that's never been on Blu-ray before and also re-releasing a bunch of stuff that has been out of print for quite a while. So uh, once again, that's the, that's the bunch of stuff here from Viavision. So thanks again to my new friends over there. Um, every month, uh, hopefully, most months, they'll be sending me over some stuff to review in these uh, Blu-ray update videos, and I'm really excited about some of the stuff they've got coming out over the next uh, couple of months, especially. Very, very excited for that, so you'll see them in the next videos. So now, let's get on to the bunch of stuff that I picked up most recently at JB Hi-Fi. JB have been doing, um, they've been doing a lot of sales recently, kind of... Kind of a lot more sales than normal. They've been doing uh, like uh, buy two for 20s with some titles that I guess were really expensive at one point and have just somehow wound up in a two for 20 sale. They've been doing like buy three for 30 or buy three for 40. They've been doing like buy one get two or buy two get one free. They've been doing like buy two TV series get one free or buy one TV series get one free. Just a lot of really weird sales. I don't know what's going on at JB Hi-Fi, but it feels like they're just ramping up the amount of sales that they're doing at the moment. But it's good for us. Um, here's another sale like that I did recently, which was the movies for five, flicks, flicks for a fiver they called it. It's a whole bunch of movies that went down to five dollars. Crazy. So we kind of took advantage of this. A bunch of the stuff that was in it was either crap or a bunch of stuff that we already had, but we did manage to find a decent little pile of stuff here that we thought, you know what, maybe they're not gonna be the best of movies. There were actually a couple of surprises in there, a couple of really good movies in there, but most of it we thought, might not be the best of movies, but for five bucks we may as well pick it up, add it to the collection, and might be okay. Firstly, we picked up this one right here, the Magic Mike 2 film collection. It's obviously got Magic Mike 1 and Magic Mike 2 in there. Uh, this is one that I never really wanted to check out, and uh, I was just, um, we, we thought for $5, for the sake of 5 bucks, essentially paying $2.50 per movie, it kind of made it worth it just to check them out. We watched the first one and I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than I thought it, uh, thought I would. Um, it, was, it was a bit of fun, uh, lots of comedy and a decent drama actually, decent drama. And uh, Channing Tatum and Matthew McConaughey were actually really good in that. So I, enjoy, I enjoyed that. I haven't watched the second one just yet because I feel like that one's probably 
not gonna be the best, but we also picked up Sleepless starring Jamie Foxx and Michelle Monaghan. Now we did check this one out. Not a really great movie, but we kind of knew going into it that it wasn't going to be really, really that good. Um, this is a movie that got like five stars over on IMDb, and I think even Jamie Foxx came out and said he wasn't happy with the movie, how the movie turned out. Um, it's just one of those movies that you just kind of feel like you want to shut your brain off. You don't want to think too much about, about something. It's like an evening where you just don't want to think about anything. Switch your brain off and just like enjoy like a mindless action movie. Even for something like that, it wasn't that great, um, but it's it was okay. It did the job. It was entertaining enough, some decent action sequences and stuff. Not one that I'd rush out to get, but it was okay. And um, like for five bucks, you can't, can't go too wrong. I also picked up A Star Is Born. This is the like 1970s version, 1976 version, starring Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. This is my least favorite of the Star Is Born films. Um, it's not really that great. Very schmaltzy, very cheesy, corny 1970s film. Um, but it's enjoyable enough, and I have all of the other versions of the film, the Judy Garland version, of course, the, the Lady Gaga version, and uh, the very, very early ones as well, like the 1920s, 30s, 40s versions, whatever they were. Um, I have them all. So I thought, you know what, for the sake of five bucks, I have to pick this one up. I never realized this one was out. It actually says this came out in 2004, the Blu-ray of this. Um, I have a feeling it might have gone out of print and then they rushed it back into print when the uh, Lady Gaga version came out a couple of years ago. And obviously they just printed too many of them and needed to clear them out in this five, Flicks for a Fiver deal. We also got The Faculty as part of the Flicks for a Fiver deal. You can see the sticker there. I haven't watched this one uh, just yet. This is one that I've never really paid that much attention to. I've always seen it sitting there on the shelves, just never really picked it up to have a closer look. Um, but this uh, $5 price tag kind of uh, made me have a, have a second think about it. And it actually sounds really quite good. It's a Robert Rodriguez film from 1998. I usually enjoy his movies, so I don't know why this was never really on my radar. It's got a decent cast in here. Uh, we've got Josh Hartnett, uh, John Stewart, Elijah Wood, B.B. Newworth, Piper Laurie, uh, Famke Janssen, um, Robert Patrick. It's got a, quite, like a, quite a decent cast, and it's kind of like a 1990s teen film crossed with a like sci-fi alien adventure like b-movie kind of thing as it says on the back um in the same vein as uh, invasion of the body snatchers alien and the thing so it's kind of like again yeah like a, a b-movie science fiction crossed with a 1990s teen flick and that kind of that kind of piques my interest because i like those both of those kind of movies and i think that i think it sounds something like something that's going to be actually quite enjoyable and with robert rodriguez behind the helm again i really enjoy his movies I think I want to have fun with that. We also got Oddball. Again, this is another one that I never really gave a second thought to. Just looks like a silly sort of uh, family film. It's an Aussie movie with Shane Jacobson, Sarah Snook, Alan Tudyk, and Deborah Mailman. Again, there's, there was a lot of these like Australian family movies that came out at one point. None of them were really that great. I guess Oddball was just one that I just, I guess just, I just never had a second thought about, as I said. But again, having a second look at this, these $5 deals can actually be quite good because they make you rethink, they make you actually go, all right, $5, what can I get for five bucks? Have a look at the movie. Actually sounds quite good. And it's got a decent rating. It's got like a six something on IMDb, maybe six and a half, which is like a decent rating. And it just looks like a fun, easy to watch family film that I'm actually looking forward to watching. Um, so again, thanks to the Flix for a Fiver deal, it's actually made me have a second look at some titles which I, 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 I've passed on in the past. And here's one that, um, this is not one that we kind of uh, had to give a second look at. This is one that I just kind of thought we had in the collection already. It's called Fist Fight, starring Ice Cube, Charlie Day, Tracy Morgan, and Gillian Bell. This is the kind of movie that we would usually add to our collection anyway. Brainless comedy that's just easy to put on again on one of those nights where you just don't want to have to concentrate on anything. You just want to put on something that's stupid and enjoyable, passes like an hour and a half, a couple of hours. And it's one that, I, again, I kind of, I thought we might have had in the collection or one that we would have added at some point. But the fact that it was five bucks uh, made it even more worthwhile to finally pick up. 
I'm looking forward to that. And our final flicks for a fiver pickup is Constantine starring Keanu Reeves. This is a really decent, like, supernatural, thriller, horror, action, drama kind of film. Um, I remember seeing it when it first came out, like 2000 and, I want to say like 2005, 2005. Um, I haven't seen it since then, which is like 15 years ago. Um, but from memory, I thought this was actually really enjoyable. Now, I thought I had this on maybe DVD, maybe on Blu-ray. When I saw it sitting there, I thought, I'm going to check my list anyway, check my app on my phone that has my like catalog of, uh, of DVDs, Blu-rays, all that. And I was surprised to find that I actually didn't have it in the collection at all. I thought I had this on DVD. I thought I had it on DVD at least. But no, apparently I did not have it on DVD. I checked through all the Blu-rays, didn't have it on Blu-ray, so I thought I'm going to pick this one up. It's actually one that I wouldn't mind checking out again. As I said, it's been 15 years since I first watched it. And I think it's time for a rewatch on that because from memory, it's just a really, really cool awesome movie uh, and for five bucks add it to the collection especially since it's not in there so i think it must have been one that we hired from blockbuster back in the day uh, when we used to go and hire dvds from blockbuster that's the only i definitely didn't see it at the movies that's the only way i could have imagined that i would have seen this movie is from a, a, a blockbuster hire so it's finally in the collection Again, surprised it wasn't in there to begin with. I'm looking forward to checking that one out again. I'm going to watch that again very, very soon, I think. Now, another great deal that JB Hi-Fi had recently was a two for $20 deal. This is one of their, like, kind of standard deals. They do it across Blu-rays usually, sometimes across DVDs, sometimes across TV series, and sometimes they do it right across the board like they did recently. You can mix and match. You could match a Blu-ray with a DVD. You can match a TV series with a movie, TV series on DVD with a movie on Blu-ray. Whatever you wanted to do, and uh, it's just a really good deal and now especially recently um, instead of their standard 20% off sales they've been doing 30% off recently which gets you maybe an extra dollar off in some cases but when you're buying as much as us that extra dollar off here and there is very very welcome so we took advantage of the two for 20 deal on a number of titles here when uh, when they had a 30% off sale so a lot of these came to let me just do the quick math in my head, which is like uh, two. It basically came to two for two for two for fourteen. I want to say so. Basically, like seven dollars fifty a title, which is pretty good there. Um, We've got some really good stuff in this deal this time around. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to check out for years, and I couldn't believe it was so cheap. This is Joss Whedon's Firefly. It's a science fiction, western, kind of western science fiction series that Joss Whedon did 2002, so early 2000s. Um, it's got um, Nathan Fillion in it and uh, Alan Tudyk and a couple of others in there as well that you'd recognise. Um, I'm not huge on the Joss Whedon TV series, never been huge on Buffy or any of that, but I, I do enjoy a decent sci-fi series and a western, and that kind of sci-fi western or any kind of like... Uh, Western fusion hybrid genre, I just think is really, really cool. So I wanted to go and pick up Firefly, especially for like $7.50 for the Blu-ray series of it. And I hear just nothing but good things about this series. Everyone just praises this very, very highly. I'm a fan of what Joss Whedon did on the Marvel series, uh, Marvel films. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna finally get this and check it out. Um, now I paired that, actually I didn't pair that. I had to buy this separately, Serenity. This is the film, the, the follow-up film of Firefly. This got axed in its prime, from what I understand, and then a few years later they went back, what year was it, probably 2005, they went back and they did a film which was kind of like their way of finishing the series up the way they wanted to, or at least providing some kind of closure to the series. Um, so I picked that one up, that was not part of the 2 for 20, it was $13, so with 30% off that was like $10 or something like that. So I picked both of those up. I watched the first episode, I watched the first episode of this, I thought it was really good. I just, for some reason, haven't had the time. I've been watching so many other things, movies, series at the moment, that I, I didn't get around to continuing it, but I will very, very soon because I'm looking forward to this. And I, again, what I saw of it, I really, really liked. And everyone, everyone I know that has seen it has just said it. It's one of the most underrated shows ever, like so far ahead of its time. So 
super excited to dive right into Firefly. I'll probably watch the first episode again to give myself a refresher when I, when I get back into it and then check out Serenity at the back end of that. Also from 2 for 20, we picked up Breathe. This is an Aussie film. I believe it's like a surfer Aussie film set in Western Australia based on a book by Tim Winton who is like a best-selling Australian author. It stars Simon Baker, Elizabeth Debicki and Richard Roxburgh. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this. In fact, on the back, it's got a four-star review from Lee Patch, um, who's one of our Aussie reviewers down here. Um, and uh, I've just heard Harper's Bazaar, in fact, says it's extraordinary. And GQ says it's a triumph. So I do like a good Aussie movie. We, there's not enough decent Aussie movie. I, there's not enough Aozzy movies like full stop anymore. And I just love, I really love a good Aussie film. So Breathe, this is one that I, I just wanted to check out. Finally got a part of the two for 20 deal and we will watch this very soon. So that one's part of the collection now. Also as part of Two for 20, we picked up a couple of seasons of Sons of Anarchy. Can you believe it? $7.50 for a season, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, these would have been like, well, like there, that says $35. That would have been $35 regular retail price and we got them for like $7.50 each. Um, this is season four and season five. We have season one to three already. Um, they had, season six was part of the deal, but season seven wasn't. Season seven was at full price for some reason. Must be obviously the newest released one, but I'm, I'm not sure how long ago that one was put out on Blu-ray. Probably uh, maybe a couple of years ago. I don't know. I can't remember when this show finished, but anyway, we've got season four and five and we're gonna kind of smash through these. This is one of my girlfriend's favorite shows. She absolutely loves it. She keeps pushing me to watch it. Actually, when I was over in England, it was all on Netflix and I wanted to start watching it, but old mate Rick was like, I really want to watch that show. So I thought, all right, when I get home, we'll smash through Sons of Anarchy on Netflix. Turns out it's not on Netflix over here. So uh, luckily, JB Hi-Fi had this awesome deal, 750 a season. So we'll start smashing through these and then pick up the other seasons as we need to. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. Let me know, are you a Sons of Anarchy? fan let me know down in the comments below because I want to know I want to know how many people are out there who love this I think I'm gonna really 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 enjoy this so at that price can't pass it up can't pass it up and finally from the 2 for 20 deal we picked up some television on DVD we grabbed American Dad season 10 11 and 12 I'm not a huge fan of American Dad Old Maid Rick really enjoys it we have season 1 to 9 in this big box set that I imported from the UK a number of years ago and then we just kind of never got around to buying um, any of these ones um, but down to 7 bucks 50 picked them up I'm, a, I'm more of a family guy fan myself never really been able to get into this but it's okay. I mean, if it's on, I'll, I'll, I will watch it, um, even if I don't enjoy it that much. But I had to have them for the collection, so old mate Rick bought them for his collection. Now, you'll note that there's three of them here. I think we might have matched... I think he matched that one up with Breath, um, or something like that. One of them got matched with Breath, or one of the other Blu-rays, and then those two got matched uh, together. You'll see Firefly. I didn't show you a match for Firefly. I'll show you that in a second. It's actually quite quite funny. So um, yeah, American Dad, we've got a 10 to 12. I think that's all of them. There might be a season 11, maybe a 14 ad as well, uh, but we will get them eventually as, as we go along and as we can get them for fairly cheap. So finally kind of almost up to date on the American Dad discs. Now we've got two more titles here, um, a couple of more television stuff. A bit funny, it's a bit funny. It is the Adams Family, the complete series on DVD. This is the box set right here. It's the whole three seasons, I believe. Three seasons from the, yeah, one, two, and three from the classic 1960s TV series, 64? 1964 to 1966. Um, Really great show. I love this. I, I used to love this as a kid. Haven't seen it in many, many years. One I've been meaning to add to my collection for a long time, but the price was never right. Finally was right. Again, funny story to go with that. I'll tell you in a second. I love classic sitcoms. I just love classic sitcoms. Um, like the Dick Van Dyke show. I love Lucy. I dream of Jeannie. All that kind of stuff. Like 60s, 70s, 80s sitcoms. When I go to bed every night, I want to just lie in bed for like half an hour, an hour, and just watch something to just wind down. It's usually like a classic sitcom, work my way through Dick Van Dyke show, and then uh, I just, these shows I just find so fun. It's just so pure, so innocent, and really hilarious. Some of the writers on these series were just absolutely brilliant, like geniuses, and I love them. So Adam's Family was the next one that I added to my collection of classic sitcoms. Now this one was incorrectly stickered as a two for 20 title. Don't know how, but I was there, it was on the shelf, it had two for 20, like, kind of weirdly stickered here. And I thought, that doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it anyway, and I believe that is the title I actually matched with Firefly. I took it up to the counter and the girl said, well this is not actually part of the two for 20 deal. 
someone has put this sticker on there. I think they were kind of like eyeing me off. She called the manager over. I have a feeling they were kind of like eyeing me off as if, did you put this sticker on there? Did you, are you trying to, are you trying to get something really cheap? I promise I wasn't. It was just on there really, really weird. And, um, they say, look, we can't give it to you for two for 20. This was, again, the two for 20 plus 30% off deal was running at the time. They said, we can't give it to you for two for 20 with the 30% off. We'll fix that. Uh, that we, they couldn't give it to me for two for 20 with the 30% off, but because they have to honor a price, if they incorrectly sticker something, a store has to legally honor that price, even if it was a mistake. They said, look, we will honor the two for 20, but we won't give you the extra 30% off. And I thought for a box set that's usually like $30, $35, if I'm even just gonna get it for 10 bucks, I'm not gonna complain about like not saving that extra couple of dollars with the 30% off. So I said, yes, I will do that. And I got the Adams Family Complete Three Seasons for 10 bucks. Um, I couldn't believe it. Sometimes you just, you get really, really lucky with just weird deals like that. Um, again, I did not put the sticker on there. It was just, Someone, someone must have done it, or someone incorrectly did it, or I got it for 10 bucks. I was very, very happy about that. Now, I've got one more title to show you here. It's actually a big box set that I'm uh, very excited. I finally got my hands on. Um, this was part of another deal that JB ran maybe about a month ago, maybe, yeah, probably about a month ago. Um, and it was a box set sale. They did a sale of, I think, 30 or 40% off box sets. Usually when they do 30 or 40% off in store, a lot of prices get jacked back up to full price. So it's not really worth picking up some of the box sets, but, these box sets were on sale already. They had like a, 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 a box set sale where a lot of box sets were cheap and then they had like this additional 30 or 40% off or whatever it was. I thought, I've been holding off on getting this for a long, long time. Holding off for getting this and finally it was like, this is the right time to pick it up. The price is right for me. I looked online, there was very limited stock, only a couple of stores had stock of it. I think it was in store, in stock online, but they had a limited stock online. It is Bewitched, the complete series. This is what, six seasons of this? Eight seasons, eight seasons. Um, Elizabeth Montgomery, again, another just classic sitcom from the 1960s. Um, she's a witch, essentially Bewitched. Um, it's just really corny, really cheesy, kind of crappy, really, 60s series, but so much fun and enjoyable. Again, in that same vein as uh, the Dick Van Dyke show and, um, and I Dream of Jeannie. And again, I just, I just love watching these shows. It's just such an easy way for me to wind down um, after a long day of working or just doing nothing sometimes. It's just a fun way to wind down. And once I've, again, I've worked my way through Dick Van Dyke, I'll work my way through I Love Lucy, I'll work my way through I Dream of Jeannie, Bewitch, The Addams Family. I'll just have it for years. This is gonna keep me occupied for years and I'm just gonna keep picking from them. And I'm so excited. I just, I love these kind of shows. So I finally got, that's like all the classic six Sitcoms that are on my wish list other than the Munsters, which um, is fairly cheap. Sometimes you get for like $25, $30, but I just haven't got around to picking up just yet. But that will be the next one I get. And then all like the classic series that I want to get, I will have ticked off my list. So very, very excited. Yeah, how cool is that? Massive box set. I think uh, you're probably wondering how much I paid for this. Probably $40, maybe $35, $40, I think, for eight seasons, which again, I'm really bad at math. So let's, let's just assume I paid 40 bucks for this. Um, we got eight, so I'm, I'm telling you, I'm terrible at math. Um, $40 by eight, five bucks a season. Like you can't go wrong with that. And I finally got that. I'm very, very excited to check it out. And that guys, that is it. That's all of them uh, for, for March. This is my March update for Blu-rays. I will have an April update coming probably in a couple of weeks time. There will hopefully be a couple of other titles from Biovision in that video um, and a couple of other titles that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. I'll add into that one as well. I've held off on them for this video because it was quite a bit of stuff here. I hate, I don't like doing like these big like 50 minute long videos. I want to keep them short, keep them quick and you know, get them out and get out like little short ones every, every month or so. So there will be some titles held over. I've also been on like a massive uh, animation binge on Blu-ray, like all these animated titles that I realized I just never picked up over the years for one reason or another. Um, as you know, I've got a huge Disney collection, that's really been my focus, and now the Disney stuff is kind of slowly winding down on physical media, um, other than like the 4K reissues, I thought, you know what, it's finally time to get into these animated ones that I've just never picked up in the past. So I went on a massive binge, and they I'll be doing a, a separate video for that, maybe in a week or two as well. Very excited to get into some of that stuff. For now, 
My throat's sore because I've been talking for like an hour and um, I'm gonna sign off. But hopefully I'll see you on the next one, guys. Until then though, take it easy. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.